and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. Recently I purchased some very different gel polishes to try and in this video I'll be swatching and reviewing five of the Your Sugar Thermal Fur gel polishes. You can find all the information on these and where I purchased them from in the description box below. Before we get started please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification turned on. And please also like this video. These really do help out my channel. Thank you. So basically these gel polishes have very tiny pieces of fur running through them. They are my first ever fur polishes. And I'm excited to see how they work. And here they are. I've already done the bottle lids for them and I'll just give you a close up of the fur in the polish of this green one. It is just packed with them. So I'll go through each one and I'll start with Thermal Fur UR02 and it's a gorgeous purple. Now these all are very thick which I just love about them. It might be a little bit hard for you to see the fur in the bottle as I'm showing you them. Next is Thermal Fur UR04 which again is a beautiful purple. They are all really pigmented as well which again I just love but personally I love the Your Sugar Gel polishes. Next we have Thermal Fur UR06 which is a movie type of purple. These are also my first effect gel polishes from Your Sugar as well. Your Sugar are my go-to gel polish brand at the moment. Next we have Thermal Fur UR07 which is a stunning blue. Now when I was doing the lid bottle I couldn't see the colour change so I need to look into this later on in the video. And then we have Thermal Fur UR08 which is this very pretty green. Now you will be able to probably see the fur in the bottle this time. So I have five pop sticks which I'll be swatching onto and I'll be top coating these using the Born Pretty No Wipe Top Coat. As always, I'll work in number order, so I'll begin with Thermal Fur UR02. So I'll be applying one coat and then curing in my lamp. One thing I will say is that the because they are really thick and very pigmented, I didn't think that it really needed the two coats. However, I did it anyway, just to sort of make sure that everything was covered curing I'll be curing for 60 seconds and I'll be top coating them all at the end you'll be able to see some of the color changing because of the heat from my lamp Next we have Thermal Fur UR04. Another thing I noticed was that you can sometimes get the fur hanging over the free edge. So capping the free edge really helped to sort that all out. I will be showing you how they change in water at the end of the video. So these colors that you're seeing, they are a lot deeper in color in the cold and hot water. But these are some stunning gel polishes though. Next we have Thermal Fur UR06. I will say that the amount of fur in each bottle is different. Some of them have a lot, like the green, but then some of them have very little, like the blue. I will say that I am a little creeped out by the fur and I did wonder if I would feel like this once they had arrived but the effect is so pretty though i will be using these for some manis in the future for some your sugar stamping plates next we have thermal fur ur07 and i couldn't see the color change before so let's see if we can see it in this swatch i really do think you could get away with one coat of these they are that pigmented and 
Okay, so out of the lamp, let's compare it to the bottle lid and hopefully you can see the difference between the two. Now it is very slight, it goes from a blue to a purple, which are both really pretty. It'll be interesting to see this one in the water though. And then finally we have Thermal Fur UR08. You can really see this one is absolutely packed full of fur. I saw a Manny being made with fur gel polish before and it looked absolutely stunning and this is how I came to purchase these. These are all applying beautifully, they have cured amazingly and I love the thickness of these gel polishes and I'm really looking forward to putting these into some manis. So I'm going to top coat now, but I just want to see what the tacky layer is like. I do this with all gels. Now it's tacky, but it's not overly tacky. So I'll be using the Born Pretty No Wipe Top Coat. I am not a fan of the Your Sugar Top Coat. But this one is very glossy. And I'll be curing these in my lamp for another 60 seconds. I'm also making sure that I cap the free edge as well, just in case some of the fur is sticking out. I always cap anyway, but I'm making extra sure. I'm really quite impressed with these so far. They're really nice to work with and with the top coat being so glossy, I personally think they look stunning. So what do you think of them? Are they something you could wear? And what do you think of fur nails? Are you creeped out by them, slightly like how I am? Or are they something that you could really, really wear? Let me know in the comments below. So now that they are all top coated, I'm going to be showing you them colour changing. The pot of water on the left is hot and the pot of water on the right is cold. So I'll start with UR02 and I'll go into hot first, then into the cold and it's changing really quickly and then I'll dip again and finish with a half and half. This UR02 is really pretty whichever colour it is. Next is UR04. There is 10 in this whole collection, so there is another five colors. I will say they didn't really interest me as much as these ones did, but there was a green changing to a yellow that looked really pretty as well. I will have pictures of all of these swatches over on my Instagram page in the next few days. Next we have UR06. These are changing brilliantly. I'm really impressed with how these are working. I don't own many thermal polishes, regular or gel polishes. I also have some other effect gel polishes from Your Sugar to bring to my channel and they are absolutely beautiful. They will be coming in the next few weeks. Next we have UR07, so with this one I'm hoping to really see the difference in the colour. So I'll be, be bringing in the bottle lid to compare hot and cold side by side. I do personally wish that the colours were a bit more different than what they are. So you can really sort of see the difference in them. But that's just me. But they're both really nice colours though. The fur isn't very noticeable in this one either. And then finally we have UR08. So make sure you're following me on my Instagram page. As obviously that's where I'll be posting the swatches up on there. And this will really show you the effect of these thermal fur gel polishes. There is a link in the description box. I really like this green gel polish and I'm, I don't often wear green. I love the slight green that it goes to, it's so, so pretty. So now I'm going to place all five of the pop sticks in my hand and then I'm going to dip them in the water all at the same time so you can see them all changing together. 
I'll dip into the hot, then the cold, and then I'll do a half and a half. So you can really see what these look like all together. But personally, I think they all look stunning. They are so, so pretty. So thank you for viewing my swatch review on these Your Sugar Thermal Fur Gel Polishes. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, thanks for watching and bye.